Hello everyone, welcome to Medit. At Medit, we are driven by one big question. That is, how can we serve you better? Our aim is to enhance your practice by making your digital experience better and easier. As more clinics adopt digital dentistry, we learned that prosthetics take up a significant chunk of your clinic time. This led us to channel our effort to streamline the digital prosthetics workflow. So, we spend time understanding your needs and pay point throughout the prosthetics process. From consultation and scanning to diagnosis, design, ordering, and production. Based on our findings, we've worked tirelessly on the solutions that can help you with better digital experience. Today, on our Medit Innovation Day, we are excited to share our specialized prosthetic solutions. We've set four core agendas to add value to your workflow. Enhancing scanning performance and usability. Delivering an optimized CAT solutions for prosthetics. Implementing a seamless and easy lab ordering process and ensuring compatibility with various milling machines and 3D printers. Our aim here is to deliver the workflow solution you trust and prefer. We have always been at the forefront of hardware advancements, and now we are excited to push the envelope even further into software. So, what's our vision? Our vision here is to blend hardware and software seamlessly, paving the way for a fresh wave of innovation in the market. Medit's newest software, Medit Clinicad, embodies this spirit. Designed with a focus on being incredibly user-friendly, ensuring a smoother experience for everyone. Well, to delve deeper into our developments and future direction at Medit, our CTO, Michael, will take it from here. Hello everyone, I'm Michael Lee, the CTO at Medit, also known as the man who never sleeps. Medit has been at the forefront of lowering barriers to digital dentistry for all. Through our software updates, we continuously provide brand new experience to customers making them feel like they bought a new intraoral scanner. Today at Medit Innovation Day, I would like to show how Medit has revolutionized digital dental procedure workflow through our scanners and MateLink platform. First, scanning has become more convenient and accurate than ever with the help of AI technology. Mate scanner have been well known as the fastest intraoral scanner in the market performing more than 70 frames per second scanning speed. Now, series of made the original AI-based features, including smart scan filtering, smart color filtering, AI scan body and abutment matching, and smart shade guide. These tools ensure an unparalleled scanning experience and top-notch accuracy, regardless of user scanning experience or patient intraoral condition for any digital workflow in a clinic. Medit also can record mandibular movement and utilize the information for better prosthetic design. We are not stopping there. Exciting new features incorporating the latest AI talk technology are under development, such as real-time alignment correction and improved metal scanning. Medit always thinks about how to improve the scanning experience in both hardware and software. Medit innovated the scanning environment by letting users scan with only a single interchangeable cable. Moreover, 
Medit is the only solution natively learning on Mac and compatible with Apple's ecosystem, which enables a truly simple yet powerful intraoral scanning configuration in a clinic. We listened to the user's voice and updated the scanning software tirelessly. Medit scanning software is the industry's most powerful and feature rich, which tackles every process's workflow. However, new users may be overwhelmed by numerous functions and icons. Now, Medit software UI is getting easier and simpler every day to provide the benefit of digital dentistry to more dentists without sacrificing its powerful and versatile functions. Medit offers various AI-based features, such as a reliability map, smart arrow, smart stitching, and smart scan guide, allowing even first-time users to quickly and easily complete intraoral scanning. Intraoral scanning can be done in a breeze, and processes will fit better with the power of MET technology. To fit everything together, Medit finally launched the beta version of Medit ClinicCAD. ClinicCAD is a specialized prosthetic solution that covers common surgeries such as crown and inlay and relatively niche surgeries as cervical inlay or Maryland bridge, like all other made software. ClinicCAD has powerful AI features to automate most time and labor consuming procedures such as aligning, disk numbering, and margin line drawing, and design morphing. Once a design is completed, users can proceed to production seamlessly, as Medit is actively pursuing partnership with industry-leading 3D printing and milling machine manufacturers to enhance compatibility and integration. Even if you choose not to design and manufacture procedures yourself, Medit Link is still perfect for your lab order management, connecting you to more than 20,000 labs worldwide. Medit Link is a one stop solution that allows users to partner with their preferred lab or search in nearby labs, and send scan data, track orders, and communicate with the labs. Many dentists are already enriching their practice with this extraordinary experience. Medit Link is truly open digital dentistry cloud platform. You can upload any digital data of a patient, not only intraoral scan data, but also X-ray, CBCT, face scan photos, or any document. Medit provides 10 terabytes of cloud storage for just 99 cents per month. With just a few clicks, you can share all the patient data with your favorite lab anytime, anywhere, for the best processes work. Medit has delivered solution that customer demanded faster than anyone else and will continue to innovate at the forefront to provide a new digital dentistry experience. Next, our carriers will share their first-hand experience using ClinicCAD and other Medit apps. It will be an excellent time to truly explore how Medit Link and our apps can change your everyday practice.
Hey guys, Dr. Ahmed Al Hassani here from the Institute of Digital Dentistry. It is an honor to be here in South Korea with the team at Medit to speak to you about my topic for this session single visit restorations using Medit Clinic CAD. Before we jump into it, let's get to know each other a little bit. As mentioned, my name is Dr. Ahmed and I'm a full time dentist in Wellington, New Zealand, where I work in a family practice and have been heavily involved in digital dentistry for the past seven years. In fact, my first scanner was actually the Medit i500 back in 2018. I am also the director of the Institute of Digital Dentistry, a leading education provider for digital dentistry CPD and CE around the globe, both online and live courses in Australia and New Zealand. Some of you may be familiar with our brand agnostic product reviews, such as our intraoral scanner and 3D printer reviews. The picture you see is of my clinic, and I have used almost every scanner and CAD software on the market. So that is enough about me. I think we must all take a moment and appreciate what is happening in digital dentistry. Without a doubt, the digital revolution is here, and it is here to stay. We can see it all around us when we speak to our colleagues, go to expos or trade shows, and the various courses happening all around us and they're all about digital dentistry. Digital dentistry is not a fad. It is the future. It is here and it is now. And it has never been a more exciting time to be a dentist with amazing technologies that we have access to, such as scanners, CAD software, 3D printers and milling machines. Many of us were hesitant at the start, but I believe now we must accept the fact that digitization is inevitable. If you are not doing so, you are falling behind. Now, speaking of intraoral scanners, the team at Medit have done an incredible job with their releases over the past few years. Many of us will recognize the scanner you see here as the Medit i700, because the company disrupted the entire industry with this release back in 2021. And then they doubled down with further releases such as the Meta i700 wireless and i600 just last year. These scanners have been widely popular across the entire industry and enjoyed by doctors around the globe. This was also proven in a recent transnational study I published in the International Dental Journal just a few months ago, in which over 1,000 doctors from all around the world responded. And it was clear, Medit scanners are some of the most popular in the industry. We are in a time where we see significant adoption of intraoral scanners by dentists all around the world. And this will continue to happen. For those of you who want to read the study for free, the QR code is there for you. So many people are adopting iOS devices. We know that. Once these doctors get comfortable with scanning and confident in the process, oftentimes they are left thinking, what's next? What's the next challenge? What's the next solution I can provide for my patients? What's the next step in my digital dentistry journey? And this brings us to CAD CAM, or Computer Aided Design and Manufacturing, which I have summarized here for you. More and more doctors are thinking of moving some production in-house into their clinics because there are so many benefits of doing so. Essentially, with CAD CAM, you have all your inputs, such as your scanner, your CBCT, face scanners, etc., and you put all of these inputs into a CAD software, and then you can design any restoration or prosthetic for your patient. Then your output is simple. It is either a milling machine or 3D printer, and this turns the digital design into a physical product or physical restoration for your patient. And I want to talk to you today about this middle part, the CAD part, and arguably the most intimidating for many clinicians around the globe. For the longest time, CAD CAM software has been dominated by three players, CEREC, 3Shape, and ExaCAD. 
most doctors do not get into CAD CAM because they perceive the software as too intimidating, too hard to learn, or too time consuming, or simply too expensive. The market has not shifted for a long time when it comes to CAD, but this looks like it might change. As you have just heard from the fantastic talks by GB and Michael Lee, Medit has been working hard on their new application. I am super excited to go over a single visit milled crown workflow from start to finish that I carried out in my clinic utilizing Medit's new free application, Medit Clinic CAD. Just like Medit disrupted the scanner market, it seems like their eyes are now on the CAD market. So the patient presents to your clinic like this. Such a common presentation by dentists all around the world. You will all be familiar with this. A heavily filled lower second molar, cracked cusp, secondary decay, mesial and occlusal decay, etc. Well, what if I told you, using the Medit Clinic CAD app, you can turn this tooth from this into this all within a single visit and all using Medit apps. How do you do it? That's the question. Let's jump into it. First, we prepare the tooth for the restoration. Before picking up your Medit scanner, you should have cleaned the tooth sufficiently and carried out your tooth preparation depending on your tooth preparation type and material of choice. And then the key part, Retract the gingiva to enable a clear scan, and in this case, I use retraction cord. Then, as usual, the vital part of the process, the data collection, your digital impression, which you will use to design your restoration. Here you can see I'm using Medit Simplified UI and a real-time scan taking place of the antagonist arch. Medit scanners are fast and easy to use. This is why they are popular. This particular quadrant scan was easily carried out with a Medit scanner within 25 seconds. The scanner can scan both hard and soft tissues and also has a lifelike texture or color to the scans. Once the scan is complete, we then move to the opposing arch. Now we are scanning the preparation. Another real-time recording you can see here of the scan being carried out. Once again, Medit scanners are super fast. This preparation was easily scanned within 25 seconds. And here you can see the importance of gingival retraction and managing the site before picking up the scanner. The better the soft tissues are retracted, the better and faster your scan will be. The beauty of digital impressions is that if you miss some data, you can always rescan. Here you can see me go back and fill areas that are missing. The Medit scanner has no issue finding its place again and adding to the previous scan. While also take note, it is ignoring any artifacts. Like my dental mirror, the patient's cheek and tongue and this is all thanks to AI in the software, which makes the scanning process even easier. Lastly, we scan the bite, or carry out our occlusion scan. This is straightforward. You get the patient to bite down and scan the buccal aspect of their teeth. Within five seconds, the Medit software is capable of capturing the bite and correlating this to the upper and lower scans that have just been taken, bringing these scans together. A new feature recently released by the company is optimization of the bite scan to ensure this is even more accurate. So that is our scanning process complete. Now we have all the data we need to proceed with the CAD design using Medit Clinic CAD. To begin, simply click this icon here to start the software. Medit Clinic CAD 
attempts to make designing as simple as possible. It is really as easy as one, two, three. Start the app, draw the margin line, and then design the crown using a library of teeth in the software. And then you are ready to mill or print your restoration. Let me show you how this works on this case we have just recently scanned. First, we start the app. The software automatically aligns the arch in the occlusal plane. The Medit software uses AI to recognize and correctly identify each tooth in the arch. As we can see, even if it's just a quadrant scan, if the scan data is good, the software will automatically align the occlusal plane very accurately. Next, we need to draw the margin line on our tooth preparation. The margin line is simple. It delineates the edge of your tooth preparation, so it tells the CAD software where does the restoration end. Now that we're starting with CAD, this can feel intimidating to a lot of doctors, but hang in there. The Medit software makes it very simple. The Medit software will automatically place the margin line for you, but like most CAD software, it does require some touch-ups to get it perfect, and it will also depend on how good your tooth preparation is. To modify the margin line, it's very simple. Simply click and drag the small green icons that you see to adjust the margin line. Make sure you zoom in and rotate your scan to view your prep from many different angles. Once you are happy with the margin line, you can proceed with the workflow by clicking Next. Now that the margin line is done, we need to place a digital tooth from our library onto our tooth preparation. Think of it like doing a wax up, but digitally it is so much easier and so much faster. You can rotate this digital tooth, make it bigger or smaller depending on your prep and the patient's anatomy. It is important to take your time during this step and align the tooth library properly. I am told Medit is working on AI that will make this step automatic without the need for library data. For now, once you are happy with the position of the library tooth, you can click Next and the Medit Clinic CAT software will join this design to your margin line. From here, there are a number of tools for you to refine your design. Add, remove, smooth tools, these are all common in CAD software across the entire market. You can easily modify and change your design to suit you and what will be best for the patient. For example, you can see here we're making this contact point a bit broader and a bit tighter. This part of CAD is all up to you and the tools are there for you to use as you see fit. And here it is. Our final crown design for this patient, which in real time took less than 15 minutes to design. Once you are happy with the final design, the MeditLink software enables you to easily export this design in any file format for importing into your CAM software or 3D printer. Most commonly, you will be using SDL files. And that is the CAD process, now possible with Medit. Clinic CAD, one of the most simple and easy to use CAD software on the market and the only one that can be used with Mac operating system. And the final part of all of this is manufacturing. And in this case, I sent the design file to my mill using its CAM software and started milling my crown. Here you can see the final milled crown, which we made from IPS Emacs CAD ceramic. This was then post-processed, cut off the sprue, stain, glaze, and put it in a furnace. And you can delegate this to the team. We then can resin bond this onto our tooth preparation. And yes, with adequate minimum thickness, this can be used on a second molar. This is the final result. All carried out in a single visit. And I think the x-ray speaks for itself when you look at the images. All this is now possible 
with Medit scanners and Medit Clinic CAD. In-house manufacturing has never been more accessible with the free apps from Medit. One last example to finish this off. Another classic crack tooth. Large filling and cracks running radially and also mesiodistally. Something that is oh so common for dentists around the world. And here it is. After preparation, we scan, design, and mill our final ceramic restoration all within a single visit. Resin bonded and beautiful margins on the x-ray. And that is everything I wanted to show you today. Thank you for listening. What an incredible time to be practicing dentistry and what seems to be another incredible release from Medit. Thank you. Hey, I'm Dr. Matt Najad, and today I'm going to be talking about from scan to 3D printing and how you can have a streamlined, efficient workflow using Medit Clinic CAD. First, I want to talk a little bit about myself. So I'm in private practice and I practice full time. So I'm doing five days a week of practice and I am also doing education through the Najad Institute, which teaches courses on biomimetic and aesthetic dentistry. And I'm also the managing partner for a large group practice. I take care of all the day-to-day -day activities and all the finances, advertising, and so on. But I'm really passionate about dentistry today, especially digital dentistry, because there's so many applications and possibilities through technology, and it's a whole new era of dentistry with what's possible. However, all this technology has been limited. And as Steve Jobs said, technology alone is not enough. There has to be purpose, there has to be application and utility. And unfortunately, until recently, that wasn't the case because the application and utility was limited. You were able to scan and you were able to print basic things, but a lot of us didn't have either the software, the training or the technology in order to create a good end product. And that all changed when Medit introduced all their suite of apps that help connect digital technology. With the Medit apps, you're able to do so much more and it's empowered us to be able to create restorations and products and all these different things. My team and I are using Medit apps for everything from splints to model builder, doing digital designs, and the possibilities are really endless once you get comfortable using all these different apps. Before using these apps with 3D printing, basically all I was doing was able to create study models or diagnostic casts. And what happened is little by little, we were able to expand into creating restorative models. And then we started making occlusal guards, different appliances. That's been really helpful. And also provisional restorations. And then finally, most recently, permanent restorations. And that's been a huge game changer for my staff, my team, and my patients. Now, the most exciting thing has been the introduction of Medit Clinic CAD with all the different possibilities. And I'm going to share with you how Medit Clinic CAD has transformed the way I practice. And this is something that I'm really excited to share with you and show you all the different possibilities. 
So in this first clinical case, I'm gonna show you a single crown, and I actually started this single crown just before Medic Clinic CAD was available. So this patient comes in and she is missing a tooth. She has no restoration. I can save the tooth, and that's one of the things I'm able to do with biomimetic dentistry, but it's really difficult to start without having a uh, reproduction or a wax up or a design for the tooth. So what I did is I used the Medit Design, and this is a really cool feature of Medit Design, where you can clone the contralateral tooth, you can move it into position, and basically while the patient was going to have a root canal, I was able to create a model with the tooth on it, and also to create a shell temporary to use during the appointment to make this a smoother appointment, save me some time. So she comes back from having her root canal done and now I have a shell and a backup putty that I can use to provisionalize. I did my biomimetic approach, so I'm using rubber dam, I did a buildup. These types of restorations don't need retention in the traditional sense, so it doesn't have a traditional ferrule, it has a one millimeter mini ferrule, but adhesive retention, that's something I'm really passionate about. And so with good isolation and a buildup, I have my final preparation, and then I use the shell provisional relined, and I was able to have a provisional with a little bit of stain and glaze. There's a lot of room for improvement, and I've gotten better with that over the past few months. But the good news is, this is how I did it before, but now we have the ability to do same day printed permanent restorations. You don't need to have a provisional shell. You can go straight to the final restoration and there's a lot of different technologies that had to come together for that to happen, but the time is now. So what I do now, and if I was going back, I would just do this from the beginning, is um, do Medic Clinic CAD. So in this video, I'm showing how you set up the form. I'm selecting the uh, tooth indication, the material as 3D print. You can also pick the shade, but that's really not necessary. And with one click of the button at the top, you open Medic Clinic CAD, and then you can use your pre-op data. You can give it a design data if you had like a wax up for this. Then the first step is to align the model and when you align the model for the occlusal plane, it generally proposes that with AI, so it's very easy and quick. Go to the next step, and first thing is to mark our margin, and using the AI margin is a huge game changer. It's literally incredible. With one click, I can have 90% of my margin perfectly indicated, and I just usually will tweak you know, one or two different points. So here I'm just changing a little bit of that margin, and we're ready for the next step. So when you're ready, you can click the uh, arrow at the bottom to move on. And now I'm doing my path of insertion. This is also really important. I've been working with my staff on learning and training them to understand that. So here you have the tooth placement and you have a few different choices. You can pick from a different library. There's two different libraries and you can add even more, but a really cool feature is the ability to clone other teeth as well. So if you have a tooth on the other side, like I showed you in the first application, you can just do that within Medic Clinic CAD now. You don't need to piece it together using Medit Design. So here's using the uh, clone tooth from the contralateral, but in this case, I, I'd rather use the design. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the first tooth library and stick with that. So here we have that in position, and now you can use a variety of tools to stretch, to rotate and position the tooth in the proper position. And you could spend a lot of time here, but I try to just get the tooth in the right position, right occlusal plane, Try to make sure there isn't too much heavy occlusion so that the proposal doesn't end up having strange anatomy. And then we let it generate the crown. So here I have the uh, crown being positioned in place. And now I just do a little bit of finishing. So I can use different brushes like add and smooth and remove to kind of improve things. So here I'm taking a little bit away from the contact that was a little bit heavy. And then I am also going to go to the other side on the mesial and take a look at the contact there. Then you can um, add occlusal contact. 
So I didn't have any occlusal contact on this proposal. Her occlusion was a little bit open on that side, so it was, the proposal was consistent with that. But I decided to add some occlusion. So I'm using the morph tool and the add tool to add a little bit to these areas to get them into occlusion. And one of my favorite things to do is to put the opposing on with translucency so you can look right through it and see where the occlusion is contacting so you can really fine tune the precision of the occlusion, make it easy to adjust so that when you're delivering, you don't ruin all your anatomy and take away all the characterization you put in. My favorite tools for that are the add, the uh, morph, and a little bit of removal tool. Once you're ready, you can save that and move on. So here is my final restoration with a little bit of transparency so that you can see what the uh, restoration looks like in relation to the prep. And then what I'm using to make these restorations now is a really exciting material from Sprint Ray called Ceramic Crown. This can be billed as a permanent restoration. It has such a high filler content that the CDT codes now allow this to be billed as a final ceramic restoration, even though it's printed. And I'm using what's called the Crown Kit. And what that does is it really accelerates this whole process. So with the Crown Kit, using Medic Clinic CAD and Ceramic Crown, you're able to make this from scan to print in 45 minutes, which is extremely fast. With that pace, I find no reason to do two visit appointments. And one of the, my favorite things about this whole process is that you're able to get this done in one appointment, not use a provisional. The design is five to 10 minutes. Then you have the actual printing, which is oftentimes less than 10 minutes because of that crown kit, it's very rapid. Then with finishing and all the other steps, including characterization, I'm done in about 45 minutes, ready to deliver. And all that is for $7 a unit, which is really incredible. Just think about the unlimited potential this has for access to care and improving quality of treatment. So many practices across the world will benefit from this as well as so many different patients. And this can all be done with a printer, a material that costs $7 a unit and software that comes readily available with your Medit scanner. Printing this is also super easy. So I've trained my staff how to use the dashboard from Sprint Ray. So all you do with this is you take the file that's been created from your Medic Clinic CAD, and then you um, select that you're doing a restoration, you select the material ceramic crown, upload the file, and then AI does all the rest for you. It generates the supports, it positions the tooth in place, and then you just send it to the printer to queue or get printed right away. And in 10 minutes, you have your restoration ready for cleaning. This is after I've cleaned it with alcohol. We did a manual cleaning here just using alcohol and a brush to remove any residual resin on there. Here is the restoration on top of the dyes. And what's really incredible is how precise these margins are. I've been doing dentistry the traditional way for many years, and I've noticed that with a digital approach and digital design and either digital printing or milling, you're able to get the best precision ever, but it all starts with a quality scan. And then from there, with the design, you're able to create a beautiful, high quality restoration. Here I'm using Lush, uh, actually OptiGlaze from GC to create the characterization. So this is just a few different stains and um, a glaze to give this a nice finished look, which integrates very well on cementation. I'm able to put that in with minimal adjustment. My occlusal adjustment was so minimal on this case, and that's been the case with digital dentistry for me. Here I have the final with nice integration from the buckle aspect, the occlusal aspect. And you know, one of my favorite things is that we're on the first generations of this material. Things are only gonna get better and it's already incredible. So I think the potential is incredible for this to be standard practice in dentistry. And then just look at that margin. This is from digital design, digital printing, margin just perfect and I think that's something that I'm still comprehending day in and day out that this digital approach is really the best highest quality dentistry. So now the type of dentistry I do is also based on 
partial coverage restoration. So not everything I do is a crown. I'm really big on doing inlays and onlays. That's what biomimetic dentistry is all about. So with this Medic Clinic CAD, you can also do that. So in this case, I'm gonna share with you the application of creating an inlay on tooth number 32 using Medic Clinic CAD. One of my favorite things when I'm doing these types of restorations in one appointment is to scan the prep with the rubber dam on. So I don't have to take off the rubber dam. I can finish my prep. I do what's called immediate dentin sealing. And then I can scan with the rubber dam on and design, save some time. And it also makes it really easy to scan without having any issue with moisture or anything getting in the way. Let's watch this video that kind of walks us through the process. So here I've locked most of my scan data and I'm just going over the area of the preparation so that I can just fill that in and then I'm gonna take that in and my form has to be set up so I'm gonna pick inlay, I'm gonna do the uh, 3D print option, I never pick the shade and then you can just go ahead and click that Medic Clinic CAD button which is gonna open things up and again you can either use prepared data or pre-op data, this is prepared data and we get started. First step is gonna to be to mark the margins. So I kind of go through and I mark my margins here. What I'm finding is extending a little bit past the margins is nice for these inlays. That way I can finish them up and really create a seamless result, which I'm gonna share. So I go through and another real cool tip for this is to use a 3D mouse. It really helps maneuver things around and I love that. Pick your path of insertion. It gives you a proposal. Usually I can go with that proposal on restorations like this. And then um, we're going to place our tooth. I'm just kind of fine tuning my margins a little bit here. So now we're gonna place the tooth and it's really important. This step is actually, if you wanna get a good proposal, you wanna make sure you position things well. Take a little bit of time to make sure that you are putting things in the right place. If you're too high on the occlusion on those cusps, it's gonna create weird slopes and anatomy. But you see, when you position it nicely, we get a really nice proposal. And just like before, we can do some sculpting, some smoothing, some defining of these margins uh, or these grooves I should say and then once you're ready you just click save and it's ready to print same way I showed you before using the crown kit. So let's look at some of these steps. This is the pre-op. Here we have the preparation after immediate dentin sealing. This is what I scanned. Then we have the restoration cemented with rubber dam. And what's incredible to me is how seamless this margin is. Using a biomimetic approach, cementing with heated composite, that margin is 100% you know, blended and smooth. And it's just a very nice and simple restoration to create and deliver. And that's great for everybody. And I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more things like this instead of direct restorations, which is a huge benefit, not only to myself, but also for patients for getting a higher quality restoration with better properties. Now I want to share the most advanced type of case that I've done using Medic Clinic CAD. So this is my case number three. And this is one of those cases where I think digital dentistry has really revolutionized the application and the method for completing a longer course of treatment. So this patient has failing number 23 through 26. We've been aware of it for so many years, but we've been postponing it and Endo's been watching things, but he wasn't ready to move to implants. But finally, things started to get out of hand. So what we did is we did three different appliances or two different appliances in a short period of time. So the first step of this is to use Medit Design. And what I did for that is I created a digital extraction. And what you do here is you take the model and you extract those teeth. And I used his existing tooth forms to be my design for those number 23 through 26 so that I can basically 3D print this Pontic. And I even put like a retention groove on the lingual side so that it would be so easy to make an Essex or a suck down and use that for his immediate provisional right after the day of surgery. My surgeon prefers to not have something fixed at that time. So here's the model that was printed from Medit Design, the Pontic in place. 
we use that to create a Essex with the Pontic in position. And then this was used on the day of surgery and for the first two to three weeks while tissue is healing. Of course, naturally no patient wants to have something like that for a long period of time. So after two or three weeks, whenever I have the clearance to proceed, it's ready to move into something more definitive. And this is one of the most frustrating things to do with implant treatment because there's so many different provisionals and transitionals and interims that are necessary. It gets costly, it gets frustrating. Patients are wondering why they have to pay for two or three different provisionals. Well, all that is changing because we have the ability to print this and reprint it and it's easy and it's fast and it's cheap. So we really have really new possibilities. So with this case, what I did is I rescanned him so that I can have his existing ridge. And now I'm using Medic Clinic CAD again to create a Maryland bridge. So in this uh, video, what I'm showing is the form setup. So the first thing about the form is you're gonna click coping for number 22 and 27 and everything else is a pontic. We open up and I'm going to use the uh, prepared data option again. You notice I sent my pre-op data there as well and that's going to come in handy later. First step as always is to mark the margin. So here I'm basically indicating where I want my wings to be. So you can do this any way you want, but I'm trying to get maximum surface area so that I can get the maximum amount of retention here and minimize any sort of fracture. And the material I'm gonna use for this, by the way, is gonna be called Onyx Tough, and it's a really good material for these indications. So you go ahead and you place your margin, you do both sides, then you pick your path of insertion, and then you have your, uh, next step is going to be your design so once you're happy with everything um, i'm just tweaking some margins here trying to make things nice and now with the path of insertion i'm going to go with lingual incisal and now you're positioning the teeth so i'm using the library teeth and i'm going to do a few different tools and rotations here to position them in the right place you can stretch them you can skew them my goal is to have a light tissue contact here so I'm not going to try to extend too much to the ridge, but I also don't want occlusion. So what I'm doing is I'm comparing to my pre-op to make sure that I have a little bit reduced the position of the incisal edges to minimize occlusion on these restorations. So once I'm happy with that, I'll proceed to the next step. And this is where you're gonna use the add or the morph to make changes. You can also get rid of the scan and look at the uh, intaglio surface and or the tissue contact surface so that you can fine tune how much contact you want. At this point, I'm okay with some soft tissue contact. So using morph is a great way to pull the restoration towards the ridge. And now I can work with the remove brush using either moderate or low strength to remove this to green or yellow. I find that to be good for this stage. If I do a little bit more, I end up having to adjust or I have difficulty in seeding the restoration. So here we have the final restoration ready for printing. This is my final design. And um, so we can proceed to printing this. I print two copies minimum for this, okay? In case there's a fracture, in case I'm not happy with how I stain and glazed it, and even in this case, so that if I need to make another one in a few months because it's time for implant placement, then I can have it already ready and be ahead of the game. In this case, I gave it to the patient because he's traveling and I wanted him to have a backup appliance. So that's another really cool benefit. It doesn't cost much to do this with the Onyx Tough material fits perfectly with minimal adjustment right onto the model. And then I use stain and glaze. Again, I'm using Opti Glaze from GC. Pink, A+, a little bit of uh, pinkish orange to kind of do the cervical area. And I have a beautiful restoration, very easy cementation. Actually, I wanna go back to that and just really point out like how nicely this integrates over here. And this is all with a 3D printed restoration that I was able to design, print, and deliver all within an hour or an hour and a half. I did it before 
his appointment, but you can do this in one visit very easily. Here's the final in occlusion. You can see the lingual surface blends really nicely. Marginal integrity is really good on these. And the best part is I've done similar restorations and the strength is incredible and it's very stable and it lasts throughout this interim phase of treatment. So throughout these different cases, I've really tried to show you how Medic Clinic CAD is paving the way to a revolution in dental care. Being able to 3D print these restorations, create all sorts of new applications and utility is really the key. And I'm so happy that Medit is providing us the tools to achieve this. It's an exciting time for dentistry and the possibilities are endless. Please make sure you get in touch with me, use this QR code to connect with me on social media or my websites, and I look forward to sharing more great content. Thank you. My name is Parag Kachalya, and I practice in San Ramon, California. And it's my great pleasure to you today to introduce two applications I use in my own practice when I work with my patients. We live in a new world of customization and instant gratification. And we must think about how our practices must evolve in order for patients to have appropriate buy-in. In today's world, seeing is believing. Admitted smile design and clinic CAD apps allow us to form deeper connections with our patients. In 2016, Satya Nadella of Microsoft made a very profound statement when he said, the true scarce commodity of the near future will be human attention. If we pause for a moment and think about this, a reality sets in that we're constantly competing for attention. In fact, one may argue that the bombardment of screens around us has rewired our brains. Traditionally, about 66% of the population will learn visually, and about one-third will learn auditorily. In today's fast-moving world, a spoken or written message can be lost at times, and a visual cue of some kind is needed to grab one's attention. In fact, it's not uncommon to see a group of people or friends around a table where each is engaging more with the screen on their phone than the human beside them. A significant reason for this change in engagement is because the devices in our pockets have allowed us to have immersive experiences and curate the content we want to have. This curation can range from the type of car that will take us to our next location, to the layout of an Airbnb, to the type of movie we may want to watch on any given night, or simultaneously satisfying a group of people that have various culinary choices. Each one of these businesses has allowed the customer to play a significant role in their product or service selection. And we've moved far past the one-size-fits-all market. This personalized approach is starting to occur in different aspects of healthcare. Robust graphic processors have unleashed artificial intelligence and imaging innovation. Most recently, I myself was looking for a pair of glasses. And from the comfort of my own home, I was able to decide on a Sunday afternoon what glasses I want to virtually try on at Warby Parker. 
And I was able to go through a selection of frames and make the selection that made sense for me. And I made that selection prior to actually being shipped or trying it on my own face. This has allowed me to have an experience that was personal, yet not feel the pressure of a salesperson at a retail establishment. It allowed me to have an emotional response, yet the freedom of making a decision on my time. Now, have we done anything in dentistry to duplicate such a model? Our smile is one of the most personal things we have. Yet for years, many of us have been guilty of asking patients to pick the type of smile they want from a coffee table book or a printout of 12 smile options that were presented in different education programs over the last 25 years. I had these in my own office about 10 years ago. These types of guides can serve as a great starting point. But in today's economy, they're not enough. Patients expect more. They must have simulation options relevant to them. They need to have an emotional response that takes things beyond a commodity. They need to feel the smile that may be in their mouth. Now, over the last 10 years, various options have existed to create smile simulation in dentistry. And they have all worked reasonably well. However, they did have somewhat of a learning curve. It required a significant investment of time and finances to accomplish a reasonable result. In an ideal world, smile design applications would be a nice add-on to our intro scanning systems and have a very low learning curve. This integration can allow us to deliver something very tangible during routine examinations. This is exactly what is possible with the Meta Smile Design app. In a straightforward four-step process, any team member in the office can develop a simulation for a patient to show them the possibilities of life-changing smile. Now we can start by simply importing one simple full-face photo. We can supplement that with an additional photo with maybe retractors to show the teeth and more view. We can then apply some simple facial landmarks. And once we apply the facial landmarks, we can take a series of different smiles, six frames, and put that in the patient's mouth and apply a real color. In less than five minutes, we can transform a patient's life by giving them the ability to see themselves with a smile they've always dreamed of. In this video, we imported a single photo. I marked the eyes, the nose, and the philtrum. Okay, so I marked some simple outlines initially. I marked the internal aspect of the lip. I can quickly do this so the AI knows what to look for and what to focus on. We then go ahead and it applies different sets of teeth. I have six options I can pick from, and I put these teeth in place. Now, in this particular patient's case, I had to adjust the two central incisors. So I go ahead and adjust the two central incisors and make them a similar length, slightly longer than the lateral incisors. Once I do this, I quickly click on the texture key. Now, the native texture that's built into the system gives me a very reasonable result. I click the texture, I'm showing the patient the case, and very quickly they can see what is possible. One of the beauties of this is in the Medit platform, I can actually take my own cases, the texture of my ceramics, and take those cases and apply it to my patients. So once I show the patient what was possible with a built-in kind of algorithms that are there and the texture that's been built in, I then click on this custom texture library. And when I do that, I have one of five smiles I've imported I can pick from. And I take my own case that I've done in other people's mouths and apply it to this patient with the shapes I wanted. And I go ahead and get that baseline and I modify slightly based on the color that's appropriate for that patient. This patient wants lifelike color. They want something appropriate for them in their mouth. And very quickly, we make the color reasonable that works for their smile, and the simple slider, I'm able to go left, right, and show them what's possible. As we discussed in the last case, in the Meta app, I've imported five different cases. I use those for various patients. This patient had different needs. So in this patient's case, this patient came in asking for four veneers. She said, doctor, I want four veneers. And I said to her, let's not lock into a number. Let's talk about your case. Let me show you what different numbers of teeth can look like. So the very first thing I did is I designed the 2D smile design with a few simple clicks based on the ideal format that I see. I built the dentition out to be able to have eight teeth, and I liked how that looked. So we started there. Then what I said from that standpoint, I said, let's go forward. Let me put things side by side. Let me capture that screenshot. I can even export a JPEG image of it. And I then go into my next screen. I then simply take off from those eight veneers, I sequentially take off some of the veneers. 
So what you see in option number two here is I take off the veneers on the first bicuspids. I pull those teeth off. And I'm able to show her what six veneers looks like. So very quickly, I'm not redoing a smile design. All I'm doing is simply pulling off two restorations. By simply pulling off two restorations, I now show her the option of six. We take it a step forward. Remember, she was interested in eight, or in four, and I thought eight was the right number. So I then did in this example is I went ahead and said, let's take off the canines. I then pull off the canines, pull two more teeth off, and I show her what four looks like. This is no longer me telling her what she needs to have done. Instead, I'm empowering my patient to make a choice. I'm giving them options. I'm giving them the baseline smile where they came in with, and options of four veneers, six veneers, or eight veneers. And I empower them to make their decision versus picking from some kind of a catalog. She ultimately had full confidence in us and then decided to have six veneers placed in her mouth. In the first case I showed you, which appears on the right-hand side, you see the older patient who wanted age-appropriate smile, which we simulated to appropriate color. And here's a restoration we delivered in her mouth. And the other patient that wanted four veneers, we ended up doing six. That was the right number for her. She felt that gave her the beautiful smile she wanted. And we were able to treatment plan dentistry that's appropriate for the patient and fulfills their needs. That is one of the big benefits of 2D simulation today. Now, over these last few years, Medit has expanded tremendously. And what we've talked about thus far is really the 2D world. So now we're gonna go from the 2D world into the 3D world, is this next stage. So as we go to the 3D world, one thing to think about is, in the Medit platform, the apps are the differentiator from other control scanners. It's a phenomenal scanner, but what you can do with the scanner, how you can take that data and do something else with it, is really the beauty of it. A new app in the Meta Arsenal is something called Clinic CAD. Clinic CAD allows us to go into the 3D space. So Meditech expands into this 3D world, and at this time, it's not meant to replace you know, other robust 3D design software. However, it does allow one to complete certain solutions pertinent to restore to practice. This is an incredibly elegant solution and a great option, especially if you're considering 3D printed provisionals or temporaries. Now, for some time, Meta has had AI-generated design for single-unit temporaries, where we can mark the margin, identify where the tooth is, and very quickly, a design will pop into place. While this is a nice to have, the use case is most impactful for multiple restorations. Printing a single-unit provisional today can be a bit time-consuming versus traditional analog techniques. However, multiple units are an entirely different story. In the case I like to share with you, that's what we did. So utilizing the Medic Clinic CAD app, we quickly designed a provisional for a three-unit bridge where the software will auto-generate the Pontic as well as take a look at the margins, mark the margins if they're nice and clear, go ahead and you can adjust the margins as needed as a clinician. And once you've told the software and confirmed where the margins are, you progress through the system. And as we progress through the system, what ends up happening is a proposal comes into place. And that proposal then goes down to the margins. In the ponic space, the intaglio, or the underlying surface, can even be adapted to the tissue, and any contour adjustments can be made, just like any other 3D software. One key difference, however, is the software can be run on a Mac, as well as a PC. In my opinion, this offers even greater compatibility. I personally like to use it in the Mac ecosystem because it gives me simplicity in my purchasing choices for a computer, but the decision is yours. It gives us flexibility. Now in this case, once the initial design was done, what I wanted to do is modify my connectors. This patient's gonna be in the provisional or temporary for quite some time, and I wanna make sure there's no fractures. So within the software, I have the ability to adjust my connectors so that they're appropriate to what I believe is gonna be correct for this patient. Once I'm happy with the final design, I can simply export an STL. I don't need to import it into some other software to do that. All I need to do is export the STL file and then bring that STL file into my printing platform. So I go ahead and bring it over and then print the material that I choose. And in this case, I decided to print multiple. So I, print, I printed three different restorations so they could serve as a backup. And that minimum material cost is almost irrelevant, right? And there's essentially no increase in printing time. In approximately 30 minutes, we were able to go from design to delivery of this provisional in a patient's mouth. This is the beauty of digital dentistry. The world is evolving. 
and MedIt's 2D and 3D applications are allowing us to elevate the possibilities for our patients. I first started testing intraoral scanners back in 2008. And back then, it would take us 25 minutes to scan both arches and a bite registration for a scan that was not even color. And all that did was replace impression material. We've come an incredibly long way. Intraoral scanning mixed with a little bit of photography opens up an entirely new world of possibilities. In today's world, in 25 minutes, we can go from intraoral scan, smile design, patient communication for their new patient examination, and maybe even design some 3D printed restorations. The beauty of digital dentistry today is it allows us to open up a new world of possibilities and truly engage our patients, where our patients ultimately have phenomenal trust in us. I want to thank you for your time today and allowing me to share my journey with the Meta platform. Times have changed. Dentistry has changed too. It's lunchtime already. It'll probably take a long time, right? Relax. With just one click, don't waste a single second. It'll be completed simple and fast. Even if you have thousands of patients waiting for you. See? No need to stick around. Your patient data is already gathered. Lost your scan path? No problem. Uh... Just start scanning anywhere with smart stitching. Regardless of the sequence, it'll put them all together. How is it? Does it look good? We got this. Your patient can see their smile right away. They will love it. Same day restoration is in your hands. Wow. Goodbye to all those impressions. Keep it neat and tidy. Looks nice. When a patient gets nervous, just click. Relax. Yeah. Wondering where you can send your digital data? You will be amazed at how easy everything becomes with digital. It's all at your fingertips. Unleash your limitless potential with i700. Better for patients, easier for dentists. Medit i700. Hello, it is an honor and a pleasure for me today to present Medit Splints and Medit Model Builder software. We will go through multiple possibilities and highlight how easy it has become to design a splint and the needed model. First, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Alexandru Bogdan and I am a Medit QOL. I am a general dentist from Romania. I own a clinic in Sibiu where besides working completely digitally for the last five years, I also do trainings for scanning with medits, for printing and designing surgical guides and other digital protocols. Before we begin, let us ask ourselves what the future holds for us. In the last years, AI has done a significant jump in functionality and dentistry already sees a lot of fields where it is implemented. From the first moment when the patient is given an ample diagnostic based on radiographic data and intraoral scans to rearranging 40 bytes to automatically positioning implants and building crowns, bridges and splints or models, AI has not only grown into an invaluable piece of technology that makes our lives easier, but it is also here to stay. With the advancements in intraoral scanners provided by Medit, we can now impression a full arch with around 10 microns of precision. While doing this in under one minute, we can determine multiple static occlusions for different positions and also record their associated dynamic movements. Post-processing is extremely fast. And now we are only one click away from starting producing our splints, where we can choose to have the AI do the design for us. So we will be left to only do minor adjustments. As printers came more and more momentum with improved speed, precision and a slew of biocompatible materials at our disposal, we can now have our designs 
produced in half the time needed in the traditional protocol. And this is without factoring in the time needed for the analog impression to actually reach the lab. Reducing costs is also a factor from material to the hours of work needed in the dental lab. All this will provide a very fast and reliable source of income since splints see an ever-increasing number of designs and uses from palliative to protective to diagnostic and are widely accepted by patients. Such processes are not only easily done digitally but also highly delegable. And while others need input and adjustment every step of the way, Medit does it all with only a couple of clicks, completely automatically, with the help of AI, as you can see in the video. Now, let us start with registering the patient. Scan pass starts from the occlusal surface of the molars, goes over the intercanine area while balancing the device and continues capturing the occlusal surface of the molars to the opposite side. After that, palatal or lingual surfaces will be registered while the vestibular side will be left for last. If there are any missing parts, after the first pass, this can also be easily recorded now. I consider that precise arches have to be captured so that we can have perfect fits for splints, but also at a later date to see if there are any changes to this position. For this, I always use the reliability map that displays colors telling us how precise the scan actually is, with green meaning most precise and orange needing more data. Bite registration is first done in maximum intercuspation by capturing three to four teeth bilaterally, starting from the molar region and slightly tilting the tip up and down to the canines. Software easily picks the position of the arches. We go forward and record dynamic movements of the patient from MIP on both sides, getting protrusive and lateral movements to the left and the right without stopping the recording while going from one side to the other to ensure correct representation of the dynamic intersection model. We will now add a secondary occlusal relationship to the case and use a leaf gauge to get it. For a more precise record of an open bite, I always try to also capture the occlusal surfaces on both arches by aligning the scanner tip up and down. Alignment is fast and uneventful. A Lucia jig can be manufactured when recording of the intermaxillary position requires neuromuscular deprogramming. This can be done quickly and easily as follows. After the installation of the software, Medit Splints will be opened by clicking the appropriate icon from the upper right sec uh, section. We'll be greeted by the model selection dialog where we will assign the correct models to their corresponding tabs. Then we are going to we are going forward in manual creation mode and will select a Michigan type splint for the maxilla. In this next step, the user will ensure proper placement of the model on the occlusal plane, since this is how the software will actually determine how to open the jaws in the virtual articulator. Now we are setting the posterior opening of the distance we will later need to design the final splint, plus around 100 to 200 microns so that when adapting the jig will not drop below this value. Also, we will give a proper insertion direction to the splint so both vestibular and palatal surfaces are visible. Retention is set to a maximum and for the inner surface offset we use a 70 to 100 micron choice dependent on the resin and printer we'll use. In the outline design mode, we will delete points that we don't need by pressing the right mouse button while hovering them until only two central incisors remain selected and if needed, we can add another point by left clicking and also adjust their position by dragging them. Surface thickness is going to be set at 1.5 mm and the surface will be sculpted so that it touches the lower central incisors by means of morphing the design with a number 4 tool and then by adding and removing material. In the end, to, uh, we are going to cut the distance to the antagonist with a set value set to 0. If a more thorough deprogramming of the patient arises, we can decide to design and print a coy splint. A quick guide on how to do this will be provided next. A maxillary Michigan setting will be chosen, followed by an alignment to the occlusal plane provided by the app. 
opening should be a slightly higher value as we did before to provide the chance for adaptation. Offset of the inner surface will stand at a, a 100 microns and the retention at 0.5, while the insertion direction should have a good view at the palatal aspect of the teeth. The buckle side slider will be set to a minimum and points will be pulled to the palate where a scallop design is sculpted. On the inner interincisive zone a rectangle is drawn that will accommodate the future coise attachment. Thickness is set to around 1.8 to be able to maintain a somewhat flexible structure, not only given by resin composition but also by its thickness. Surface needs to be smoothed, but there is no need to worry since undersides will not be affected by our sculpting. Of course, any of the designs can be named with text embossed or debossed, rotated, made bigger or smaller with a degree of freedom we already have come to expect from Medit software. In Medit designs, the splint models, designed appliance and cuboid attachment provided in the Medit library are imported. The cuboid attachment is then positioned into place, rotated and scaled with the help of the 3D manipulator tool in Medi Designs Armamentarium, as you can see in the video here. Once our attachment is in place, it will be merged to the already designed splint by means of Boolean union, and the maxilla will then be Booleanly subtracted from this new design, providing the final splint, which, if there are any floating islands left, can be cleaned and also some material can be sculpted to the attachment if we see so fit. Now that both Lucia and Kois have been designed and printed, we'll see the Lucia splint being checked and adapted prior to recording of the new bite position. We will use the same scanned case from before and add a new occlusal relationship. If we decide to only register the static bite on the Lucia jig, I would recommend using flowable composite to be able to block the bite by provi providing some stopping points on the splint during the scanning procedure. But if the dynamic bite is also needed, we will refrain from doing this and try to get a bite as quick as possible. And now we will see the aforementioned dynamic bite on the Lucia jig being captured. This is done on both sides without stopping. With the previous data recorded, we will use the scans in the occlusion determined with the help of the Lucia jig and designed the NTI appliance and printed. Also, a model for check and delivery purposes will be built. We choose a mandibular NTI splint, then the appropriate models were imported and placed on the occlusal plane and their position is tweaked. Also, no adjustment on the position of the models are needed since this was the reason we recorded the bite with the Lucia in place. Inner surface parameters are set to an offset of 0.1 and retention 0.1, while the insertion direction is aimed to encompass both low, lower centrals and laterals. Outline will fully include these four T's. The flat plane generated was first reduced from the frontal aspect with the removal tool and the antagonist visible, and then, when the correct starting plane of the set splint was achieved, the upper model was checked and the rest of the plane was adjusted, flattened, smoothened to the desired inclination. Material was added beneath this attachment to the surface so it would continue more smoothly uh, from the splint to the plane and also so that the lip would not interfere with the splint. The appliance was named and the design was done. Model Builder was used to print the models of the patient in the occlusion recorded with the Lucia jig. The software allows us to exactly select the regions of the scan that we actually want to include in the models. We then need to align the scans to the occlusal plane so that the software can determine the orientation of the base of the models. In the base creation set, we can choose to build solid models or hollow them out or do a honeycomb structure that will save resin. We can add drain holes and also a bevel if, the print, if we print the models flat. Attachments can be used from simple supports in the number, position and thickness we desire, but also stabilized bars and even the extraordinary X-snap attachment that will deliver articulated models. The results are then named and are ready to slice and print. 
after designing splints and models, they are exported as STL files and brought in the AI cloud-based slicer from Sprintray, where they are oriented, placed on the print pad, and supports are added all automatically by the AI, and the results are then sliced and sent to the printer queue. We are still able to manipulate these steps, but this is seldomly needed. The placement and support adding also happens to the design splint and the result is going to be sent to the printer but it is going to be printed from a different material, from splint material. Now the actual printing takes place on my trusty Sprintray Pro 55S and we are sent a notification when everything is done. The structures are washed in the Pro Wash and automatically dried while still on the print bed. We then will remove any kind of supports and sim by simply peeling them off and will cure the prints in the ProCure 2, one of the fastest curing units I know that also has the curing times dialed in for any prints we do. Models are assembled and the height of the supports is checked with the previously built and adapted Lucia jig. The fit of the NTI splint is checked on the lower model and is verified and in the end we ensure that the height with the NTI splint in place is the same one as that we determined with the Lucia. NTI splint is delivered to the patient, fit of the appliance, then static and dynamic movements are checked and adjusted. The splint will then be polished or candy coated for a glossy surface. Finally, we'll go to a Michigan splint designed with a slight difference that the dynamic movement model of the patient is loaded in the Lucia jig occlusion to help with design for the canine guidance. This method still needs to be checked and adapted, but only slightly. Manual creation is chosen, models are carefully checked, and then after we do this, they are going to get aligned to the occlusal plane, where they are adjusted. A bite opening is not modified and the inner surface is set to around 100 microns and no retention is needed due to the splint being a full arch. Insertion direction and the outline are slightly tweaked to the desired position. After this step, we are going to adjust contacts by adding and removing material by, by means of the sculpting tool. In the end, we are going to smooth out the results like we see in the video. Canine guidance adjustments are performed with a morph tool. Surface is smoothed again and the occlusal contacts are going to be cut to a zero millimeters from the antagonist offset. Splint is then named and the design is completed. The Michigan splint is tested for fit and adjusted with first in static occlusion, then in movement. After everything is in place and we are happy with the outcome, we should have a splint that presents dots at the back, lines in the front and canine guidance. This splint is now going to be polished and delivered. To conclude my presentation, I will say that Medit has become not only an extraordinary hardware company that delivers a wide range of scanners from intraoral wired and wireless to an excellent array of lab scanner, but is also growing into one remarkable hardware software provider, delivering more and more solutions for quick and easy des designing of any type of restoration. One great highlight of this software is that they are completely free and very easy to use. There has never been a better time to be a digital dentist and I, for one, consider that the future is now. Thank you. Hello esteemed colleagues, today I am going to introduce you to a groundbreaking tool that will revolutionize our clinical workflow, Clinicat by Medit. My name is Kim Dong-Han, 
I have a specialty in conservative dentistry in South Korea. I founded a dental clinic in the heart of Seoul that combined the research center and classroom for digital dentistry. I love machines and software, so I learn easily and enjoy improving them. Perhaps it's these unique characteristics that allowed me to invent a cervical inlay with a setting guide. Let's start our story today. I'm going to show you a cheat key for Medit Clinic Cat that could be a game changer. This is the key to what I'm going to show you today. It's treating non-carrier cervical lesions with a 3D printed inlay. There is no occlusal and no adjacent surface contact which frees you from the worries I mentioned earlier. And if you can use the setting guide to treat multiple lesions at the same time, you can increase the, the efficacy of your practice. And CCL is one of the most common heart tissue lesions. However, the diagnosis rate varies widely depending on the method of diagnosis. And when patients are asymptomatic, consent to treatment tends to be low. So it is important to make sure you don't miss the diagnosis and to find a reason to treat beyond the patient's symptoms. I solved this problem by using an intraoral scanner. With an intraoral scanner, diagnosis rate increase, and patients are more proactive in their treatment because they understand it easily and fully. This creates a significant value proposition that goes beyond scanners that are merely imi imitating existing analogs. I started using the MEDIT intraoral scanners in late 2022 for diagnosing NCCLs. In 2022, the monthly average went from 27.8 to a monthly average of 67.3 in 2023, an increase of about 40 per month. I know the cost of treatment varies from clinic to clinic, but that's enough to pay for an I-600 in two or three months. Maybe this is what dentists have been waiting for. No matter what scanners you use, you will see the same effect. Check it out as soon as you get back to your office. It is simple to scan because you can scan only the necessary areas. You don't need to scan again if there is existing scan data. This scan data was scanned for a zirconia crown of tooth number 37. It was used to describe the, the NCCL of teeth number 24, 25, and 35. As we can show the lesion in three dimensions while zooming in and rotating, the patient can clearly understand the shape and severity of the lesion. In the past, when the step explained, the patient used to call me and confirm where and how many areas need to be treated. But now, my patients don't come to me anymore. It is very important that the scanner makes it easy for the patient to understand, no matter who explains it. We can even show how to access locations with the scan data. The digital region of the tooth numbers 48 are difficult to find, even for an expert. The code for the digital region on the tooth number 26 and 27. The lingual NCCL of tooth number 45 is not very visible to the naked eyes. This is true even when scanned. If you change it to monochrome mode, you can see it better. Let's look at another case together. You are not sure where it is. If you change it to monochrome mode, you can clearly see NCCLs at teeth number 23 and 24. I had a patient who was symptomatic despite the presence of NCCLs on the teeth number 13 and 16 and did not want to be treated. 
She visited my office in June 2023, and I had a scan data from July 2019 for comparison. Let me show you how to use the Medit Design app to make the comparison. Launch the Medit Design app and load the corresponding maxillary scans. Start edit mode. Duplicate area 13 and 16 on the 2019 scan and align them on the 2023 scan. Use the measurement mode to see the differences. Over the course of about 4 years, tooth number 13 has progressed by 0.3 mm and tooth number 16 by 0.6 mm. Even if she has no symptoms, rapid progression is reason enough to do treatment. The first key point is that scanning and explaining NCCL with an intraoral scanner increases consent rate. Using monochrome mode allows you to diagnose more NCCLs and easier for patients to understand. With a scanner, you will be able to communicate with your patient by looking for more than just symptoms such as the rate of progression. The MEDIS scanner can be used not only for the diagnosis of NCCLs, but also for their treatment. In today's highlight, we are going to show you the first case we designed and treated with cervical inlays using Clinicad by MEDIT. Let's start designing. Identify the tooth numbers with NCCL. Severe lesions are observed in the cervical area of teeth number 14 to 16. Viewing in chrome <coughs> monochrome mode will make it look more three-dimensional. Select the corresponding teeth in the order form. Register offset substructure in the medial link form. While MediLink developed this feature, we are temporarily registering the cervical inA as an obsessive structure. It feels like a bit of a cheat key that only someone in the know can use. Run Medic Clinic CAD. Make sure the prepare data module and move on. Wait for it to automatically align to the occlusal plane. It's time to draw the margins. First, I need to explain something. In basic prosthodontic design, it is common to draw only one margin per tooth. In the case of inna with setting guide, we design it in two parts, the inna body and the setting guide and then join them together using a connector. Therefore, you will be drawing the inlay and setting guide margins separately. Let's start with the margin of tooth number 16. If you use curvature display mode, the curvature will be displayed to help you draw the margin. Select the auto creation in the margin line feature. If you put a point on the NCCL margin, the inlay and setting guide margin will be drawn automatically. Due to the complex shape of the region, the auto-drawing margin result is slightly insufficient. So we need to modify the margin line. We will modify the setting guide margin later. Click the Select Tooth button below to move on to the next tooth. 
If you can create it automatically, try another spot nearby. But if that doesn't work, you can select the manual creation in the margin line feature and draw it yourself. Do the same for the last tools. Since we don't have a way to connect the setting guides yet, let's modify the setting guide margins to overlap with the surrounding keys and combine them. I hope this will be updated soon. When the margin drawing of all this is finished, you should check the insertion path. Click Show Insertion Path Switch. Adjust the insertion path by using the Set arrow to your viewpoint to quickly set the insertion direction to your viewpoint. Do the same for the rest of the teeth, changing the tooth number. Now we are done drawing the margins and setting the insertion path. Let's move on to the next part. Make sure the inlays are shaped properly. Use the Add, Delete, Smooth, and Morphing features to modify the shape. When you are done editing, turn on Setting Guide Grip Switch to preview the connector. Confirm that the grips are connected without issue and press the Complete button. It will ask you if you want to save with grip. Then click Confirm. All that left is to join the three separate images together. Launch the Medit Design app. You can print them out individually, but it's handy to combine them all at once, so let's do that. Select the three images you want to combine and start Edit mode. Click the Combine function and select the three prosthesis. Then they will be combined into one. Press Done to save. I am very excited and honored to see my idea turn into an automated app. This is the 3D printed result. Let's show you the process of attaching it. Preparing the surface of the tooth as shown in the video. Try fit the prosthesis. Use the flowable resin as a cement. Apply it evenly to the surface and the surface of the inlay. Position the inlay and wipe off the effects resin. Photopolymerize to harden. Remove the connector and trim the resin excess. Finish by polishing the surface. This is the first case of cervical inlay using the Clinic Cat by Medit. The second key point is that the Medic Clinic had automated the design of cervical inlays. Now you don't have to be a design expert to utilize cervical inlay in your office. Let's wrap up today's lesson. First, designing cervical regions with an intraoral scanner encourages the patient's consent late and that alone is envisioned enough to buy a scanner. Second, Medit Clinic had automated the design of cervical inlays.
Thank you for listening to my lecture. I will continue to work with Medi to provide lectures on encouraging the clinical use of intraoral scanners. Take care. Bye. Hey everyone. I hope you enjoyed our event today. It's pretty clear. We're stepping into an exciting era of innovation and digital dentistry. At Medit, we truly believe we're bringing something game-changing to your daily workflows. And the best bit, it's made to be super user-friendly. I'd love for each of you to give it a go and see for yourself. Well, today, we're excited to introduce our digital prosthetics workflow. It's powerful, yet simple, and designed with your practice in our mind. We have shown you our enhanced scanner, our Medit ClinicCAD for prosthetics, and how easy it is now to place an order to your preferred labs. Plus, going from the scanner to CAD and then to a milling machine or 3D printer, it has just become a total breeze it feels to me like digital dentistry just took another leap forward. We've got this neat, seamless workflow that I'm confident you are going to love. So here's my call to action. Why not give it a go? Just hop onto meditlink.com, register, and you're in. You can test drive our Medit Clinic CAD for free during its beta phase. And we're keeping it that way until we're sure it ticks every box for you. And guess what? In Medit Link, there are tons of other free applications available, like Medit Smile Design, Medit Model Builder, Medit Ortho Simulation, Medit Splint, and many more. Oh, oh, uh, and for our Mac lovers, we've got you covered as well. We're stepping into the future with digital prosthetics. Why wait? Dive in with Medit.